Well, Gary, we can now officially say that a finals berth is locked up in season 2019 after we held up, held up our end of the bargain on Saturday afternoon <laughs> against a, a very competitive Frankston outfit as we prevailed by 15 points. What were your thoughts on the game? Yeah, first off, that's correct, Sam, that we've been able to obviously qualify for another finals campaign and that's one of the things that you always want to try and tick off is actually win enough games to qualify for finals and then potentially look at how high you can finish and we've got obviously a big game against Sandringham on Sunday. The game itself, it was probably the first quarter really that won it for us, that margin, even though it wasn't the margin at the end of the game, it was still four goals in a, a pretty tightly contested game. I thought both sides made a lot of errors and I thought our boys in the end to be down two in relation to Cal with his uh, crook leg and obviously Perry with his ankle to only have three on the bench was probably a pretty fair effort to hold on. So. We're probably a little bit more efficient than what Frankston were going into our forward half and we had to win as you said and we're able to tick that box and now let's look at what we can do going into uh, Sandringham this week and hopefully beyond. Uh, are you able to provide the fans with a specific update on what currently we know about the injuries of Cal and, uh, and Perry because there was a little bit of concern for, for those boys after the game? Yeah, there was. Actually, apparently I heard from one source that Kel had had plaster on his leg, but you know, that wasn't the, <laughs> the case. He was off to hospital to actually get it checked out. The good news is I spoke to Kel this morning and there's no fracture, which is really, really positive. So depending on what uh, the doc thinks today, it could be some bone bruising and a little bit of swelling. And uh, Perry, they're still waiting to see what the outcome is there. Uh, he's a little bit sore, but they're thinking maybe syndesmosis. But again, I'm not a physio or a doctor, mate, so we'll wait and see what happens at today's training. So if those two boys miss, which we probably think they will, obviously there'll be a couple of guys that'll get an opportunity to uh, potentially come in at the right time on the EVA finals. Uh, and a little more positively, uh, you must have been happy with the individual output of uh, Jared Blair in what was a, often a scrappy and hard-fought game. His class experience really shone through on Saturday. Yeah, it was. And just his ability to work from contest to contest, I thought, as a midfielder, it's pretty important the way the ball pings around, whether it's in offence or defence. And I thought his leadership and just his work rate was really, really good. And we needed some like him in that last quarter to show that leadership. And obviously that's what we got Jared to the club for, is his ball use, his smarts, and obviously the leadership. I thought uh, Dion Johnson probably had his best game across half back for us as well. So that was a, a positive sign. And even young Dino Karamusha is coming in and getting a little bit of a taste of VFL senior footy so I think uh, after Saturday we have played 46 players and of those seven have played every game this year so there's probably been a lack of uh, continuity in a lot of areas for a lot of our boys whether it's been injury or or form loss so when you think about really consistent teams you generally got double figure numbers who potentially play every game for the year. Uh, and it's probably nice to know this far out that we are finals bound. Uh, from your point of view, does this now change anything in terms of planning and or being you know, fully prepared for that elimination final at Adcon Stadium in a couple of weeks' time? Yeah, it does. With the bye last round, it just gives us a really good opportunity to potentially tweak a couple of things and the way we can train and how we go about getting ourselves as fully right as we can for that first week of the finals. Obviously, it's a little bit unknown as to uh, who we potentially will play. I know there's a little bit of talk about whether it's Werribee or Geelong, but yep. we'll control what we can and obviously the guys who potentially play this week, it may give them a little bit of a fill up to say, hey, if I actually play really, really well, well then it gives me uh, first dibs on playing in the very first final of 2019, but that's two weeks away, mate. So we'll plan as we always do, we'll prepare well and uh, with the goal this week to try and finish off the home and away really well and then we'll start another little mini season, obviously uh, two weeks after that. Well, Gary, the next chapter in our 2019 journey is Sandringham. Uh, Trevor Barker over will be Sunday. Best of luck in that game. Well done on last weekend's win, and we'll chat to you again next week. Yeah, thanks, Sam.